everyone, Diane here. I just wanted to show you something new that I have my, at my Etsy shop. I'm so excited. Um, hopefully I could get through this in one video. I'll try to make it as fast as I can, but I'd like to show you quite a few things. Um, first hand is a, I've developed some kits. Um, a lot of them are custom kits. Um, there's a few at my Etsy shop right now, um, which I will show you an example of uh, that is for sale. I have a few already made up. I'm going to be taking orders. Um, and within a week, you should have, a week, week and a half, you should have uh, delivery of your um, personalized kit. Um, the video, or actually the um, photos you saw at the beginning of this video, is an example of one of the albums that I have for sale. Um, that kit, uh, which I will show you, that kit includes a six by six and a half booklet that's all canvas, which you can embellish any way you want. It has four pages, so I guess you would call it 16 pages in all. And the canvas is stitched in the middle and have cording to tie off. And you can embellish it however you want. Now, the pictures at the beginning, as I said of the video, is one example of what I did with one of these kits. Also with the kit, you will get your choice. There, this one is the blessings one. I do have another, which I will show. The other one is this one, enjoy the simple things of life in life. And that kit will include the canvas book, the embroidered design on fabric. You can use this fabric to cover your book if you want, or you can use this lace that I have included in the kit. I also include three pre-made pockets. Look at my notes here. 18 sheets of coordinated papers, um, one chalkboard sheet, chalkboard paper, and a few solid pieces that you could use that's a little bit heavier stock. Some chipboard pieces that you in can include in your layouts. So the kit includes the book, the embroidered design of your choice, the lace, the paper, the chipboard, this little bag of goodies, which is our fibers, some jute, there's five yards of washi tape that matches, there's some beautiful ribbon, some pearls, some yarn, some fabric strips, raffia, and uh, some embroidery thread, all that matches. And all these little goodies. I, in here I have natural colored, three of the natural colored um, clothespins. There are metals in here. There are five metals in here. There's keys, there's hearts. Um, I also have an, an angel, an angel. Maybe I should take these out so you can see. So we have, we have our little clothespins. 
We have assorted buttons. And we have five metal pieces plus a clip with a hanger on it, which you could probably use to dangle your little charms off of it. Um, some heart crystals, some pearls, an angel. Uh, one of those little hearts that I place on everything I make. Uh, it says made with love. Some birds. Some crystals. And some paper flowers. So you get all those in the tassel. <laughs> you get all those in the kit. Of course, along with the pockets, as I mentioned. So this whole kit is available at my Etsy site. I only have two presently, but I will be coming out with more that you can get instantly uh, mailed to you. Um, they might be the paper might be a little different. The embellishments embellishments will be different, but um, I also have. Um, the option of a custom uh, a custom canvas kit. Uh, you pick your size. There's four sizes to choose from, including a, a traveler's notebook size and, and a couple of other sizes, um, and along with the six by six one that you see here. Um, also, it has the option of choosing whatever theme and style that you want. So if you wanted to say do Victorian ladies, then I will put a kit together with lace and Victorian ladies that will be suitable for that type of theme. Um, I also have color themes, like if you like pink, then the color within the kit will be primarily pink. Um, and then there's those custom ones that you know you want pink and you want Victorian ladies. Well, <laughs> I can do that. So if you check my Etsy site, you'll see uh, there's many selections that you could choose from. You probably will have a hard time making deciding, um, but primarily the materials that you're going to get in this will pretty much be very, very similar. Not in the colors and the designs, but in the amount of uh, items that you're getting within the kit. Um, now I'll show you the same kit. You saw the photographs. Now you're going to see the same kit. Um, only I did it a little different. Uh, this one, I did not add the embroidery. I kept that for something else. Um, and I took some of my added, my own things and added, uh, I put the lace all over. I also put some fancy lace over here. Um, but the inside... Yeah, let me push this out here out of the way. Okay, now the inside is done similarly. It's I'm using the items that are in the kit for the pockets, and I'm also making some of my own little journaling cards. And I'm using the little clothespins in a different way. I've used some of my own ephemera to include with the kit so I could make it the way I wanted to. So the, the kit is a basic. You can make your your um, you can make your book with just the kit or you can add your thing your own things to it. Like this one I put embroidery in it. Um, made my own little little cards. 
I made actually sewed two pages together to make a pocket. It's just a lovely kit. Um, this one, I put the little keys on the journaling card. And I did use some sewing in this. But as I said, um, you don't have to use any sewing, any embroidery at all. You can use just what's in the kit. You can use glue. Um, you could use fabric glue. I would say if you were not going to do any sewing, use fabric glue and paper glue in combination. Um, so when you're doing it on the fabric, use the fabric glue. But otherwise, you can still use the paper glue. Um, now this section because the book is four pages. This section here was my own added section. This section ties in. Oh, what did I do? I tied a knot. Well, anyways, <laughs> you know what I mean. I tied it in with a ribbon and I added all these. These were my own, my own uh, sheets that I had that I wanted to incorporate. And the inside where I stitched the booklet together, I just made the inside as a pocket so you wouldn't see the strings where, where the strings were cut. But this is an, a whole insert that I put inside of this book. So I could use this for journaling and use all the pockets. All these others are pockets um, or tuck spots so that I, I could incorporate pictures or things that I just want to put into pockets and I use some of the lace to make this pocket and some of the chipboard as you can see and I use some of the the jute I stitched the jute around this is giving you some ideas as far as what I did with it I made this I cut well, actually, this was this was a mistake. When I went to go put my embroidery on, I accidentally stitched two pages together. So what I did was I cut it apart. This was the two pages. Cut it apart and made it a tuck spot. And then made the shorter one, the shorter piece, an actual pocket. So this this was this was an oops, but it wound up being such a great idea that um if I hadn't made that mistake, I would have never thought to do it. See this here? I did it on both sides. So I, I had cut and stitch them both together. So I cut it and I made this pocket and I made this tuck spot. So, and you get this locket. I just put a little, little piece inside and glued it. You'll see it's in your kit. Uh, not the face, but the, the actual metal is in there. And as I said, easy to just glue them on to make a tuck spot. And you can incorporate your, your cards or your photos or whatever you want. Um, but this is the back. I chose to embroider the back. And this particular one has ties that are cords. This 6x6 six six kit. But my newer kits, my other kits, my custom kits, do not have a tie. Um, that will be up to you whether you want to put a ribbon, a tie, a knob, or whatever. Um, but the, the um, other custom kits will be a fabric cover. This particular kit has a fabric cover along with a few pages. Um, so, now... Other items that I have now depending on whether you pick a theme or whether you pick a color um, I have a lot of different things that you've probably seen at my Etsy shop which I will include one embroidery item within each kit whether you want to use them or not that's up to you um, like this would be probably for tea time or birds the bird theme um, like these would be more for the children's themes or maybe just you just let me know what you like and I'll incorporate one of those in there um, these lovely ladies 
Of course, a lot of you have seen my suitcases, so if you want to do a, a traveler's uh, notebook or even a regular um, sized, um, you can add one of these on the cover. That would be beautiful. You could add the fabric on the, on the cover and then add lace and then add one of these on there. Um, there's so many options, so many things you can do, but you don't have to go shopping all these places for all these things because you're going to get it all in one kit. Um, these are the couture, the stitching ones. Uh, I could include one of those. The, here's another teacup design. This one would be more like the kitchen and the mason jar or the flower. There's a lot of uh, not only the sizes, four sizes, but there's also a lot of categories to choose from, and you'll see at my Etsy shop. If you like the woodland theme, kind of like, you know, the, um, the woodsy, um, maybe buffalo plaid um, kind of theme, then these country designs are for you. Um, they're already listed separately on my on my um, Etsy, but I will also, if you're doing a woodsy theme, then I will include that in there. There, are, I have these that are also within the woodsy, woodsy theme. And then, of course, I have the, what I call these, the sweet blessings, um, which you would get the whole thing stitched on the fabric. Um, the faith, hope, and love, the count your blessings and name them one by one. And if you like purple, purple on it, you know, with the sweet blessings, I have these available. I just have a few of each. Um, this one is Kindness Matters, which would be great on, uh, on or inside the actual... Um, journal. And then I have a pet ones, my best friend. I have that in gold and blue. So, so many things to choose from. Um, as I said, go to my Etsy shop. I, I will have a link at the bottom. Uh, choose your size, choose your price, choose your category, or choose whether you want grunge or whether you want something steampunk or whether you want something um, Victorian or uh, vintage or uh, so many things to choose from. Uh, just look at the list, see what you like and hopefully if there's something that that you're looking for and I don't have it listed, just contact me and I I will get back to you and tell you what I can do for you. So I hope you like these. I'm so excited about this this new project of mine. Um, hopefully you will like it too. And um, I will be coming up with a, um, a short little videos just showing you things that I've done with the pages. So stay tuned for that too. Um, as I said, I'm so excited about this and I hope you like these too. Um, Till next time, goodbye.